Hi everybody and welcome to West Explains Best. Today we're going to be doing a really tough one, CUDA worksheet tutorial on solving systems of three equations with elimination. Uh, anytime you have three equations, probably the best way to do it is with elimination. That's just kind of like my personal take on it. Um, but overall, it's pretty tough. Each problem is pretty lengthy. Hopefully your uh, math teacher isn't too mean and doesn't assign this whole thing, but I'm gonna try to run through a couple of these for you. I have not seen this worksheet before. Um, so this is my first time doing it. And uh, it's possible I'm gonna, you know, I might make a few mistakes, but you're gonna hear my inner dialogue. I mean, let's be honest, I'm not gonna make any mistakes. But anyway, let's get started. You're gonna hear me kind of talk through these problems. Um, and you know, you kind of get some strategies based on how I, I go through this. So you probably should first watch um, section 3.2 video notes. It's a part one and a part two. Uh, this will give the basic six step process of how to do uh, three variable systems. So I'm gonna, just based on that, I'm gonna go over some of those things, okay? Now, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna pick a focus variable. Ideally, you want something with a coefficient of one, so I'm looking here and I see my focus variable is gonna be that guy right there. Um, before I do that, I almost forgot my first step. That's number of the equations so you can keep them straight, okay? So we have one, two, three, and three had my, um, focus variable so this is going to become my working equation so this is the guy i'm going to pair up your working equation is the guy that you pair up with this and with this okay in order to eliminate your focus variable so after i pair up these two equations two with three and one with three i'm going to eliminate x in both of those and come up with two new equations so let's go ahead and start we'll do two and three first so I have equation two and equation three. Okay, so let me go ahead and write these. Um, I'll go use this generic like graphite. 4x minus 5y plus 4z equals 19. Okay, and three, I've made it too close. Three, we have x plus 5y minus z equals negative 20. Now, here's the deal. We already said our focus variable was gonna be x. So we want to eliminate it. We want to eliminate it. So what do we do? Well, my strategies, as I've been talking all along, is getting the coefficients to be opposite. So I'm going to multiply this by negative 4. And when I multiply by negative 4, I have to multiply each one of these terms by negative 4. Now, you're, you're probably thinking, whoa, 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 look, the y's are just perfect for eliminating. And you, you would be right. Actually, probably the y, at getting a second look at this, the y's are going to be much easier to eliminate. But... The overall strategy is you pick a focus variable, you go from there, okay? Now, um, that this method will work in any time. And I might even show you after this, oh gosh, there's gonna be so many parts to this video. I might show you after this how, if you use a little bit of strategy first, it will make it a little bit easier. So anyway, I'm gonna multiply, and I get positive four Z equals, oof, positive 80, okay? And now I'm going to add these two together. So ignore this middle line for now, okay? So ignore this line. I'm gonna be moving from two to this bottom one. This is my altered one. I'm gonna do my edits in blue. So after I add, I eliminated my X's. That's the whole point. And I get negative uh, 25Y if I add those, plus eight Z if I add those equals 99. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a star next to this guy. Why do I put a star? Because this guy only has two variables. And that's an important thing. When you only have two variables, then you can just use regular system of equations. But we're not done yet. If we have two variables, we need two equations. And all we have are variables and three equations, so we need to do this process again. So I just did, um, I just paired those two together. Okay, so I'm gonna get my green check mark. Check this out, green check mark. I already paired those two, and now I'm gonna pair one and three. So I'm gonna get my one out. Oops, wrong color. Sorry, it would, just, it would just annoy me too much if I didn't get the right color, so I need to do it. And now I'm going to get my graphite out. Okay, I'm not Bob Ross here, but I'm just, I like to be color coordinated. 5y plus, that's not right, minus 5z equals 2. This one's going to be a little easier because the x's are already opposite. So actually, I was complaining about my strategy, which, I mean, you could still 
do a little bit better, I think, but um, it's not bad. This will work, it's not too much work. All right, so look at this. Focus variable, what is it? I already said it's X, take a look. They're already opposites, that's perfect. So we're gonna go and jump to the purple, which is my add color, and I'm gonna add these two. The X is eliminate. Oh, check this out. The Y is eliminate, that's a double bonus. So now I'm gonna get negative six Z equals, what is that? Two plus ne uh, negative 18. So then I go divide by negative six, divide by negative six, okay? And I get Z equals positive three. Now, what do I do with this guy? Well, oh shoot, I meant to do this. I meant to do it in blue. Z equals positive three. I need to star him first, okay? So I put a star, and this is my other one in two variables. Now you're probably thinking, whoa, 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 there's not two variables there, there's only one. That's even better. Anytime you get a number for one of your variables, z equals a number, x equals a number, okay? Remember, we want x equals a number, we want y equals a number, and we want z equals a number because this is gonna be in our x comma y comma z. That's gonna be our, our ordered triple. So we have this, and now we just have to find the values of z and, uh, z and y. We're trying to find the two variables and then work our way backwards to the final third variable. So we have z equals three already. So we're gonna essentially use these two system of equations. Okay, now it's only two variables, z and x, and we're gonna solve for both y and z. Z's already solved, as I've been saying repeatedly by now, and you're probably sick of me saying it. So I'm gonna plug it in for z in this other star equation. So I'm gonna rewrite it here. Okay, da, 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 da. and I get negative 25 y, haven't found that yet, times a, put in parentheses because we know the value there, equals 99. And I'll put in three there. Now, I replace the value of z with three because we already determined that. Where did, where did I write it? Did I write it somewhere? I didn't write it somewhere. <laughs> All right, z equals three, put it up there. There, fine, happy? No, I'll put it right here, I already have a space. Z equals three, so we got that. Z equals three. Was I fine with it over on the left? Whatever, I already changed my mind. So negative 25 plus 24, so I'm gonna use, uh, what's my solve color, purple? Well, I'm gonna use, this is my like final one, so I'm gonna use red. Negative 25 Y plus 24 equals 99. I subtract 24 from both sides, and I should get 75, right? 75 equals negative 25y. And now I divide by negative 25. Things are looking good. Y equals negative 3. Okay, got our second guy. Success. So now we have y equals negative 3. Okay, so what do we do from here? Well, we used, uh, we will first get the checkbox, okay, get the checkbox, okay, we paired the working equation, this was our working equation, we paired it with the other two equations, check, check, and we have the other two variables, we have y and z now, so we just have to find the remaining variable, and that's pretty easy, we can plug these two variables in to any one of the equations, but I'm going to, oops, any one of the equations, but I'm gonna pick the top one just because it looks easiest. Uh, actually, I'm gonna put it into my working equation. The working equation is usually the easiest because that's what you pick to have an isolated variable anyway. So once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and write this out with uh, x, we don't know, that's what we're solving for. Then we have y, k, which we have a value for. Then we have z, which we have a value for, negative 20. I'm gonna use green because we like had those values already. So we have negative three and then positive three. And now we're gonna work this out and solve for x and we're done. So we get x minus 15 minus three equals negative 20. We get x minus 18 equals negative 20. Add 18 to both sides. x, that's an x, x equals negative two. So we're done. Okay, we have our order triple. We have all the values of x, y, and z. Negative two comma negative three comma three. And that's our final answer. So not too bad, right? It's more of like an organization uh, test than anything. So uh, yeah, it's it really kind of just test your organization. It's a lot of work for one problem, I'll give you that. So if I'm gonna sign this, I'm probably not gonna do um, that much. Uh, but let's take a look at this, this next one. 
the next one we'll we'll change it we'll keep the colors the same we'll try to keep the colors the same um, what we need to do is we need to find a focus variable okay so our focus variable this time is going to be Z so with Z well actually this one so normally we'd pick a focus variable Z like this would be our focus variable and then we work or get a working equation so let me just highlight that just so you see this is gonna be my fallback I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here um, here I'm gonna try a different kind of technique I'm gonna show you guys how this might work out. So normally you would pair this working equation. Okay, this is my working equation. You'd pair it up with um, both the uh, second and third equations and eliminate Z for each of those, which is really not gonna be that bad. It can be pretty easy. And then once you eliminate Z, you'd solve for the system equations and you're gonna find, you're gonna be finding X and Y first and then end with Z once you got X and Y. Okay, now there might be an easier way though that I'm gonna try out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pair, I'm gonna make um, this my working equation and I'm gonna pair it with the other two. Now why is that? I'm gonna make that my working equation because I noticed that it has a uh, positive 5y and these both have negative 5y. So what does that mean? I'll be able to easily eliminate y as my focus variable in both those equations. So if you notice that there's a pattern with your coefficients being opposite and one guy, in this case, this guy standing out, then obviously you can kind of go back on the selection process, which is, okay, the selection process in this first one was I was looking for one that had a coefficient of one. Well, if you see, and this is the same thing it was in one, that one guy's the opposite coefficient of the other two, then make this your working equation and make y your focus variable. So I'm gonna make y my focus variable, okay? Y my focus variable, and this will be my working equation, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase this guy, okay? And I am going to change gears here, and I'm gonna do this instead, okay? And I hope you guys understood my reasoning why. If not, leave a comment saying, hey, you stink at explaining things. I'll be, okay, fair point. Allow me <laughs> a little bit more structured critique and I'll help you out. So here we go. We're going to pair up three with two first. And you see how easy it is to eliminate it. Oops, I meant, I meant to keep two on top just so I don't trick you guys or whatever. So let me go ahead and switch to graphite. We go negative two X minus five Y minus two Z. I'm trying to go fast here. I don't want to waste your time. Who wants to watch a 10 minute math video? Unless you really need it. I mean, hopefully you guys actually need it. Maybe I'll just spitball in here. Okay, then we're gonna go like this, draw our line. Guess what? The, five, the, the Y's are already opposites as I spoke about. So we're gonna go straight into our addition phase. We're gonna add and uh, we get negative uh, 4x, the y's cancel, the z's cancel, wow, that was actually a double bonus, and then we get equals 16. So we have negative, divide by negative four, look at that, converted that mistake into a non-mistake, x equals negative four. Okay, so actually this, we're in luck, we actually have our first, um, our first variable without much work at all and i'm going to put a star by this because we may need it for the second pairing okay so remember how i put these little these cute little boxes here well we're done with the first one okay so now we're moving on to the second pair okay so we're going to pair up uh one this time with three our working equation okay remember this was our working equation that's why we're doing it twice we could easily uh eliminate our focus variable so that's why we're pairing it okay just as a reminder Negative 4x minus 5y minus z equals 18. Well, this one's not going to be as nice. Okay, it's not like we're going to get our z this time, but that's okay. It's going to be still pretty easy because we have this guy. This guy's going to help us. So then we have plus 2z equals positive 4. Draw our line. Guess what? It's already ready to add. Okay, that's bothering me. It's already ready to add because we see that our y's have opposite coefficients. Give my purple addition phase out, and we get negative six x, we get plus z, because negative z plus two z is plus z, one z. Not a one z, you get what I'm trying to say, and we get 22. 
Now, this is our other star. You're like, whoa, the other one had uh, a variable equal to a number. Well, this one wasn't as nice. Normal, most of the time, it's going to be like this. It's not going to be like that, okay? But since it is like this, let's go ahead and plug this guy in for x. Okay, the whole point was to get two variables, and we did. We got rid of y for both of them. Okay, we got rid of y here and here. So now we're going to plug this guy in. Okay, and we're going to get negative 6, parentheses, I like showing that, to show substitution equals, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling that result. So we get negative 4. Then we have negative 6 times negative 4, positive 24, plus z equals, I don't know about you. And then we subtract 24 from both sides, we get z equals negative 2. Guess what? We got our second one. There's only one remaining. I'm not sure why I switched to, oh, that wasn't, why was it? That was z. I thought we were going to get y first, but I was wrong. Oh, that was under the initial right. Okay, I remember now. So long ago, I already forgot. We get z equals negative 2. Now, what do we do? We can plug this into any equation, so it doesn't really matter. Generally, you want to plug it into your working equation because that's... Oh, forgot something. Generally, you want to put it into your working equation because that's generally your easiest one to solve for your focus variable. So we'll go ahead and do that. Here's my working equation, negative 2x... Oops, parentheses, sorry. Plus 5y, that's our focus variable. Plus 2, parentheses, we're going to substitute something in there. And I'm going to move this up because I'm going to run out of room real fast. Now I'm going to put in purple this time. Keep it organized. Negative 4, negative 2, and we're ready to see what we get. We get positive 8 plus 5y minus 4 equals 4. That's going to be 5y plus 4 equals 4. Ooh, we're going to get 0. Minus 4, minus 4, 5y equals 0. So many students make this mistake. Please don't do this. Divide by 5. It's going to be y equals 0, not undefined. Okay? Not undefined. Don't put undefined. So now we just need to put it as an ordered triple. 0, negative 2. That sounds like an order at Big Mac or something. An ordered triple. And here is our final result. So guess what? It's already been like probably 12 minutes. I don't know. I don't see the time right now. But we've only done two questions. So these take a while. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to do a part two just so you can see some tougher ones. But I'll like to see you in the next video. So make sure you stop by. All right. Take care.